when you first divide your model by hitting Control D or hitting this divide button over here, you'll get a new subdivision level. So every time you hit this, you'll get a new subdivision level and you'll be quadrupling the polygon count of your object. For example, this is 24,578 points. If I go down one, it's a quarter of that. I go down another subdivision level, it's a quarter of that again and again and again. So previously, in the previous video, um, I was showing that you can't actually modify this geometry in here. I'm going to press Shift F twice to show the amount of polygons actually on this. It just toggles this on and off. Uh, and you see that in previous videos, if we try to use the Z modeler brush on this, for example, to Q mesh a polygon, it's, it's not going to allow us to do that. It's not going to allow us to um, slice our object to create new polygroups, um, and it won't allow us to mirror and weld or change the topology in any way because we have subdivision levels. So the way around that is to use this functionality called freeze subdivision levels. And what that will do is it will take our subdivision level, store those details, go down to subdivision level one, allow us to make changes. And then as soon as we hit unfreeze, it will go back up to subdivision five and try and project what we currently have onto that model. Any new geometry that's there will just be divided five times. So to demonstrate that, if we hit free subdivision levels on this object now, because we've decided we needed to make a change, we made a model, we didn't have enough resolution in one area, or we forgot to add an extra finger to our character, or whatever it might be, we can freeze the subdivision levels, we can go in here, we can make a change, and fairly dramatic changes to our model. Um, we can slice it, we can do mirror and weld, we can you know, pretty much do anything that we want to do with this model. And then once we hit freeze subdivision levels one more time, it's going to get out of this first subdivision level. It's going to go up to subdivision level five again. Our polygon count has changed now. We've added these new polygons. Um, it masks our original area, but you can see now, and I'm going to turn off the, the framing here. You can see now that our new geometry has been added and it has the same subdivision levels as everything else. I can still go down through our subdivision levels and we now have that stored as our piece of geometry. So this allowed us to actually modify our geometry even though we had subdivision levels on it. Obviously, there are some fixes that will need to be done. We'll have to smooth out areas that are a little bit messed up, um, and it's not perfect. One last thing I'd like to note with this is that um, there are some functionality, some things about this that are a little bit strange. If you hit freeze subdivision levels, and for example, you try and use an insert mesh brush, you know, you'll notice that we had five subdivision levels there. I'll choose an insert mesh brush, like uh, body parts. And I'll insert um, an ear, for example, onto this. Um, when I control drag and I say, okay, now I've added this geometry, I'm happy with that. When I unfreeze the subdivision levels, you'll see that we've lost a subdivision level. It's gone down to four. Um, no idea why this is. Sometimes it will actually lose two subdivision levels, sometimes one, but this just seems to happen with insert mesh brushes. Uh, if you just make general changes to the topology yourself uh, without actually adding in a new mesh, things tend to be fine and you tend to go back to the amount of subdivision levels that you had originally. So don't forget to subscribe um, if you find these tips useful. Talk to you later. Bye.